I'm joined by Caitlin Dever. How are you? I'm doing great. Fantastic. Your dress is amazing. Thank you say. so much. Thank you. You play the role of Brandy Beltmeyer mm -hmm. in the film. Yeah. And you have a love interest um, with Tim, who's played by Ansel. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, it was really fun. Uh, working with Ansel was a really, really great time. Uh, he was always making me laugh, but also I learned a lot from him just in the way he handles himself on set and uh, I think we learned a lot from each other and we're really good friends now and it's, it was a it was a fun story to do. Men, Women and Children really shows how technology has changed society. Mm -hmm. After starring in the film, have you changed any of your internet or technology related habits? A little bit. There is a part of me that's going, I should probably put my phone down now. And I am using my phone less than I was before, I feel like. Uh, being 17 years old, did you ask, find it at all scary to star in a film which is basically observing the life that all teenagers are living right now? Yeah, I, and when I read the script, that's what stood out to me the most, was that all of these teenagers relate to teenagers now, and it's all about our generation um, and what's happening in technology. And that's something that really stood out to me, um, because every teenager is going to relate to some teenager watching the film, um, because they're so real and the characters were so honest. Also, um, just last question then, yeah. if you could summarize the film in one word or one phrase, what would that word or phrase be? Oh gosh, you know, actually we've been asked this question a lot, like one message for this film, and I don't think, I hate to, I hate to not come up with one word, but I'm going to say this, there's no, there's no one message for this film. There's a whole load of messages that can come off of this film, or one, a, a whole bunch of words. Um, yeah, there's no specific message for this film. Every single person's going to come out thinking something different. I'm joined by Jason Reitman. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm, you know, on the red carpet at the London Film Festival. It's the worst places to be. <laughs> um, what's it like to be in London? Uh, you know, it's wonderful here. I, I came here in my early 20s to do a commercial, and I used to come down here all the time and see movies almost on a daily basis so the idea that one of my films is playing at the big house uh, at the London Film Festival is pretty exciting. Looking at some of your previous films such as Juno and Thank You For Smoking they all deal with very contemporary issues such as teenagers, technology, health obviously um, with Thank You For Smoking and so on. Why do you choose to set your films in sort of a modern contemporary time rather than creating your own world or going into the past? You know uh, what I'm interested in is people and uh, uh, I think that uh, People become a lot more interesting when you set them against uh, some sort of conflict and I've enjoyed the conflict of tobacco lobbying and teenage pregnancy and in this case uh, technology. Um, you know, uh, I'm interested in what love is like in the internet age. Why did you choose specifically Ansel Elgott to play the role of Tim? You know, I chose Ansel Elgott for one simple reason, he was the best actor. Uh, and, and he certainly was not Ansel Elgort, Elgort the movie star when I cast him. He was a young man just to like the, the rest of this great cast. And then of course Fault in Our Stars happened. Yeah. Um, the, and it was a fantastic choice, just for my opinion. When I watched it, I thought, absolutely amazing. Um, Thank you very much. The film is obviously an adaptation from the book Men, Women and Children, um, which is much darker than the film. Why did you choose this book in particular to adapt into a film? You know, I thought the book Men, Women and Children just had insight into what it meant to be young, old, boy, girl, man, woman, married, young love in the internet age. And uh, the detail work was fantastic. And uh, while I thought it was a little too dark to be a movie, I was excited by the challenge of finding a way there. Last but not least then, if you could summarize the film in one word or one phrase, what would that word or phrase be? If I could sum up the movie in one phrase. Uh, uh, love was complicated already, but the internet made it even trickier. Hey, Ansel Elgort, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. Um, we're going to look at, first at some of your other films, obviously Carrie at the Fort Now Stars, Divergent. In those films, your character is usually much more charming, perhaps, than Tim, who you play in this film. Yeah. Did you find it difficult almost having to turn the, ch um, the charm down? Um, you know, I'm not very charming in real life, so it was very easy for me. Like, it's, in the other ones, it was hard for me to turn the charm up. 
You have a background in stage, although a lot of your recent popularity has come from your film work. Did you find it difficult initially moving from stage to screen? Um, yeah, there's a little bit of difficulty, but Kimberly Pierce on um, on Carrie was very, very helpful and was like a more than just a director, but also a teacher to me and was so nice. So I was so grateful for that. Did you find it at all kind of scary to star in a film which is almost analysing and observing the life that we're all living right now, sort of young people addicted to technology? Um, no, I think that's the kind of film we should be making, you know, and I was happy to be a part of it. I think that we should tell relevant stories and tell stories people aren't telling. Uh, and it starts conversations that people might not want to have. And just like The Fault in Our Stars as well, which definitely did that. Yeah. Um, last but not least, if you had to summarise the film in one word or one phrase, what would that word or phrase be? Word or phrase? Yeah. Um, Everyone's found this difficult tonight. Uh, men, women and children. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very much.